Welcome, and thank you for taking this important step in caring for and protecting young athletes. I'm Eric Herrera, a history teacher here at North Pueblo High School and a high school sports referee. I'll be your guide through the Heads Up to Sports Officials online concussion training. This training was developed through a partnership between the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, and the National Association of Sports Officials, NASO, to share the latest guidance on concussion prevention in youth sports. An illustrated young man wearing a backpack crosses the screen to reveal a man standing in front of a high school training complex wearing a black and white referee uniform. His name is Eric Herrera. A logo for the CDC appears featuring an abstract bird made of human faces in profile. A logo for the National Association of Sports Officials appears featuring the letters NASO. Black and white stripes on the O resemble a referee jersey. My two real passions are teaching and sports. I was a multi-sport athlete in high school, lettering in soccer and basketball, and playing some baseball too. I even competed for the track and field team. On the weekends, I made some money refereeing for our local community leagues. I enlisted in the military after high school where I played soccer on base and officiated some other sports too. After retiring from the military, I started teaching and officiating college sports. I've seen at least a dozen concussions over the years. I've seen how they can affect fellow service members and athletes alike. I know how essential it is to prevent concussions and get care for these complex injuries right away. Eric appears on a soccer field where two boys are holding their heads. Then a baseball is hit at home plate. The ball strikes the head of a player on the field. Eric looks on wearing an umpire uniform. Eric is now in a gymnasium. A coach checks on a basketball player who is holding her head. An image of a brain and lightning bolt appears above the head of all the players described. Concussions may pose serious threats to the development of young brains. Anything affecting brain development needs to be taken very seriously. An illustration of a brain appears. Three gears spin on top of the brain. The gears are thrown off the brain and a black lightning bolt appears. The front and the back of the brain flash and light up yellow. We know that concussions happen all too often. Research shows that many young athletes do not report their concussion symptoms and are not removed from play when they should be. Eric is standing on a football field. A coach talks to a player holding his own helmet. An image of a brain and lightning bolt appears above the player's head. Athletes who continue to play with a concussion or return to play too soon while their brain is still healing, risk a greater chance of having another concussion. These repeated concussions can be very serious. They can cause permanent brain damage and may have lifelong effects. You're a sports official. That means it's up to you to make the right calls at the right times. You can penalize illegal actions and encourage safe play. You can also identify potential injuries or other threats to athlete safety. Sports officials play an essential role in concussion awareness and prevention, but you are not alone in that. You can work with coaches, athletic trainers, parents and guardians, and athletes themselves. You are close to the athletes during competition, and your ability to make and enforce decisions can support young athletes' long-term safety and well-being. Eric is inside a gymnasium during a volleyball match. Two girls bump their heads into each other. One girl falls to the ground, and the other girl holds her head. This training will get you up to speed on the basics of concussion signs and symptoms, examine your role in concussion safety, and explore ways you can contribute to concussion prevention efforts. Let's get started. Click the next button to continue. A black arrow points to the lower right corner.